Ladies and gentlemen, it's one of them days. Look at that, it's 8.36 in the a.m. And I ain't got no time to be talking to y'all. But I just want y'all to take a moment and I just need y'all to understand something. There are protests throughout this world. Ladies and gentlemen, and ladies and gentlemen it ain't what y'all think. Don't get offended. Now, don't, now, now don't get offended because I'm telling y'all the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen this whole protest stuff is a lie. Y'all, y'all think this is spontaneous and natural. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to prove to y'all that this junk is so doctored and tailored. And I, I'm not doing this for any other purpose than that y'all need to know the truth. So I don't care. I don't care. I, it, it may not be fair. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to her. I'm talking about them. Man, y'all just don't know that's my song. That's my song. Okay? That is my song. Jethro, that's my song. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a news feed from today. This is showing a march. I believe this is Japan. Now, I want you to take a look. Okay? I want you to take a look. The famous little intersection right here. But I want you to take a look at something. These are not Americans. So I want you to listen to how they're chanting Free Palestine. Now, they're saying boycott Israel. Okay, now you hear how they're saying Israel? Okay, that lets you know that somebody taught them to say boycott because you couldn't hear a boycott at the very beginning. I want you to pay attention. Listen to the words. See, he's the leader. He's the one doing that, telling everybody what to say because he knows English and he's up in the front. Pay attention. He's in the front. Got everybody else talking. Okay, that's the first thing you need to pay attention to. Okay, now listen to how they were speaking. Now listen to how they're speaking now. Hold on. No miles moving. No, no miles moving. No miles moving. There is no moving of any miles. Nobody is moving their miles. But we keep hearing, and they're getting louder and louder. But who's saying it? The camera is here. How come we're not hearing it from here? Listen. No miles are moving. They're just. See, we have him moving, but nobody else is opening their mouths. We got this one. That's too much movement, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on now. Y'all don't understand, do y'all? That's all a lie, ladies and gentlemen. Notice how they were saying free, free Palestine. There was no accent to the free, free Palestine. It was so clear and crisp. See, before, I couldn't understand what they were saying about boycott Israel. I couldn't understand that. Because there was an accent there. It wasn't clear English, but the free, free Palestine was clear. But then nobody's mouths were moving. But see, remember, the voices were loud and clear as if they were right next to the camera person. And of course they weren't. But all we're saying is there was a bunch of people with their mouths closed just watching. So please understand, not all of these marches are what you think they are. I've been explaining to people for a couple of days now, when I'm looking at the news regarding Israel and Palestine, especially the protests, I see that that's the distraction. 
that's what everybody's focused on. All of the colleges. All you were focused on is the protest at the colleges, not what the protests were involving, but what was happening during the protest, the police arresting people for protesting. Guess what? They didn't do anything for Palestine because the attention was on the protesters and the colleges. It wasn't on Palestine. So the protest is a distraction, people. And if you don't get it, look at who the protests benefit. It doesn't benefit Palestine because now the protests are evidence of anti semitism You know what I'm saying? Because you can't be anti semitism Because anytime you speak against that particular group called Israel, you must be a hater of Israel because you criticized Israel. You cannot criticize Israel. It is sacrilegious. It is against the law. And how dare you say something bad about the nation of Israel? Isn't that interesting? Now, you can talk about anybody else. You can talk about any other nation, but you cannot talk about Israel. That makes a lot of sense. Yes, you talk about any other nation, you're not anti that nation. But if you talk about Israel, you're anti Semitic. Excuse me? What the, does anti Semitic mean in the first place? They calling themselves Semites? Ladies and gentlemen, look up the word Semite. Notice where the word Semite comes from. Notice what class of people Semites are. They're letting you know. They're letting you know everything just by that Semite thing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, don't get offended because y'all just don't know. These protests are a joke. They're a distraction. And if you've been paying attention to it, if you've been going and participating in these college sit-ins and all that stuff, whew, Lord have mercy, y'all need to understand. It's a joke. The United States saying this or that about Israel is a joke. Look at what they've allowed Israel to do up to this point. This is all a joke. And y'all don't even understand. Y'all think it's happening by chance? They're doing that to Palestine on purpose. Why? Because nobody cares about Palestine. Palestine has been an occupied nation for more than 60 years. Nobody's ever done anything about it. They've been complaining about Palestine, and y'all have remained silent. There were no protests about Palestine. Well, we protested before, and nothing happened, right? Palestine still remained not even recognized by the UN as a nation. They're an occupied nation. And it wasn't recognized as a nation. And they always came up with excuses as to not recognize them. I don't care if you like it or don't like it. I'm only telling you the facts because you're not going to get anything here other than facts. It is all propaganda, people. You really need to understand. The first thing I was looking at that video and I'm listening to the audio and I'm like, wait a minute. Is that in America? Free, free Palestine. I mean, just so crisp and clear. But these were Asians who were saying free, free Palestine. Ladies and gentlemen, they don't have the phonics in English that individuals born in America have. American English is not the same as European English. They're saying it in American English, people. Free, free Palestine. Okay? That's the chant. Then boycott Israel. Do you know that several states have made it unconstitutional? To boycott Israel? Says that you cannot boycott Israel. Excuse me, why can't we? You're boycotting Cuba. You're boycotting Russia. So why can't we boycott Israel? You can boycott whomever you want, but we can't choose to boycott whomever we want? Of course we can. No, see, the states that have done this have done that respecting corporations. Because the corporation is a creature of the state owing its duty and chartered power to the state. You guys must understand the world we're living in, the technicalities. All right, look, ladies and gentlemen, don't take it personal and don't get offended. I'm just telling y'all what I'm telling you. Hey, I got to go, okay? Y'all take care of yourselves. I still got this issue that I got to take care of. But until then, arrivederci.